Hello, so someone on the internet has requested me to do a trailer review of the new Blade Runner 2049. Now when it comes to Blade Runner, it is one of my favorite all-time science fiction films, and it is among the many, many great science fiction films. But I wouldn't necessarily call it science fiction, it's more... It's more of a science, uh, science fiction noir film. In certain aspects in the cinematography and the filmmaking, and even the color grading at points, it feels like a futuristic noir film for a lot of the time in the movie. Uh, and it certainly lives up to this day as being one of my favorite science fiction films. And when it comes to a sequel, a lot of people were very, very hesitant and... When I first saw the initial trailer, not the one we're talking about today, but the, when I first saw the initial trailer, I was like, okay, so it sets up that Ryan Gosling has to go see Harrison Ford about a synthetic problem for some reason. And we never really get some sort of a story, we only get that portion. And I feel like in this new trailer that we got recently, it doesn't really feel like a noir film. It just feels like an action thriller, which in a sense you could say that the old Blade Runner is kind of a thriller in a way, uh, but I always saw it as a more noir thriller science fiction. This one doesn't really seem to have the noir aspects. Granted in certain shots it does appear to be that and there's a lot of stuff to really admire about in this trailer. For one thing, the visuals are really, really gorgeous. It's definitely a return to uh, the Blade Runner world. Ryan Gosling looks like he is part of the universe, and I really, really dig his outfit. Uh, the uh, the vehicles that are used in this is very much in the way of Blade Runner. Pretty much everything of the look and feel is mostly uh, mostly Blade Runner, and also adds to the fact that Denis Villeneuve, who did Arrival and Sicario, is also tagged to be the director of this of this movie, while Ridley Scott is the producer or the executive producer. But um, but as far as that goes, I'm a bit hesitant on the film as a whole, seeing how there are a lot of movies that get really good trailers that don't necessarily add up to the release product. Uh, there's been a lot of movies like that, and I want to, again, this is one of my favorite science fiction films of all time, and I'm probably going to be a little bit cautious about going into this film, uh, seeing how, you know, it does, it does hit those beats that you want it to hit for a Blade Runner film, but there are some, just some minute little little things that I have a little bit of a concern about. For one thing, Harrison Ford look, uh, the, the, the look of Harrison Ford does not necessarily, to me, in a way, fit within the universe of Blade Runner. Um, and it's, it's, just, it's just him in a gray Hanes t-shirt and some pants, and that's it. You know, that, that's, that, that doesn't, that to me, to me at least, is not a look from Blade Runner. You know, when you look at the original, you know, you get a sense of what, of what Blade Runner should look like. Here, it just looks like an AARP ad. You know, <laughs> not, not to offend Mr. Ford, you know, I, I love you, I love you Mr. Harrison, uh, but, uh, but I, I, I think they kind of screwed up on your, uh, on your costume there. But in all, those are just kind of minor gripes I have with the trailer. The trailer looks good. I'm fairly excited, but a little bit caution, a little bit cautious when it comes to this new film. I want this film to be good, but I don't want it to like crash and burn and pretty much be a total disaster for everyone. You know, I I think Blade Runner is one of the best films of all time, and I don't want it to have a very terrible sequel. There's been there's been plenty of good films that have gotten bad sequels, like like Godfather Part 3, you know? N no one likes Godfather Part 3, and for good reason. But yeah, that's all the thoughts I have for uh, the Blade Runner trailer, or Blade Runner 2049 trailer. Um, I really enjoyed it, uh, but but again, I'm still cautious about it. Uh, cautious about it. Uh, so yeah, later this week, I'm going to have the King Arthur review. 
Uh, and then next week is the Alien Covenant review, and I'm excited for both, hopefully. <laughs> I've been hearing some good things about the Alien movie, but, um, but yeah. So, until next time, I'll see you behind the camera. Peace.